Was it a scab? Yeah, it's a scab. Whether you're brand new to Tarkov or if you've had the game for a while but can't get the hang of it, this guide should help you. I'm going to go over a lot of things that will help you in your first few raids and give you a general idea of how to start. I'm still pretty new myself, but as I learn, I like to teach those slightly newer than me. Before you ever load into a game, go into your settings, and under the game tab, turn head bobbing all the way down. If not, your camera will bounce all over the place. Also, most people play with a higher FOV, but you can play around with it to find what you like. Next, go to graphics, and I can't say what exactly you should use on a lot of these settings because of course we have different setups, but for the basics, play on the resolution that matches your monitor, and also play in full screen, which you should be doing in every game for the best performance. Now go to the bottom and uncheck everything. Moving over to post effects, you can copy mine, but I would recommend watching a couple videos on post effects and adjust this on your own for the best results. But I highly recommend using post effects because it's pretty hard to spot enemies with the normal look of the game. Now the last thing in the settings is your controls. Of course you're going to have to adjust these over time to get them perfect, but there's a couple of things that need changed, like scope magnification. Change this to something other than the two button bind it has, because with the default keybind you can't change magnifications while ADS'd, so change this early. Next scroll all the way down and find discard. Changing this will help you loot a lot faster in raid. You can quickly drop things without right clicking and hitting discard. I have this as a mouse button and it makes looting 10 times faster. Questing and progression is the main focus of this game, and without it you're going to have a hard time competing with players who have the best gear unlocked from traders. So while in raid, treat this as a survival game. You go in with a mission, you take care of it, and you leave. Don't spend too much time in raid. Loot is nice, but it's not worth dying over. But the loot you do bring out is going to quickly pile up in your stash. So put bags inside of bags and use rigs as storage, but make sure the rig holds more items in the amount of slots it takes up. And when you get 1.1 mil, go straight to Therapist and buy a scav junk box, which you can fill with most trade items and sellables. Once you get that, inventory management gets a lot better, and if you continue to do tasks and progress, you will unlock multiple types of containers that hold specific items. And once you hit that magic level 15, you unlock the flea market, where you can buy containers, but they're not cheap, so it's best to grind and unlock them. While in raid, never underestimate scavs. Hold your breath on your shots and aim for the head. Don't waste time with body shots, scavs will kill you. Sometimes they miss a lot, other times they one shot you. Don't throw the whole raid away for a scav. Treat scavs as you would a player, with extreme caution. And on the other side of that, as a new player, it's very important to make the most out of your scav. A lot of players just chase down shots and try to get a free kit, but it's better to safely loot and sell the items to fund your next kit. Scavs are also great for learning the maps, so take your time, loot up, and learn the maps. Also, if you didn't know, there's scav karma, so you can't go around killing other scavs unless another player scav shoots you first. Bad scav karma will ruin your chances of getting good loot on your scav when you spawn. And high scav karma has the opposite effect, with higher chances of good scav loot in your inventory. And on maps like Lighthouse, using VoIP and teaming up with other scavs could make everyone involved a lot of money. It's also not a bad idea to try to talk your way out of a situation as a PMC. You never know what could happen when you just use VoIP and hope for the best. Or you could use VoIP to betray others for free loot. But why do that when you can make some friends? Tarkov is better with friends in my opinion. Having someone to watch your back while you watch theirs makes you feel and play a lot better. If you're having a hard time playing solo, go to the Tarkov Discord or make your Warzone friends play a real game. It also makes dying in the game a lot less stressful. Having a teammate at least say good try can keep you in a good mood. But Tarkov is notorious for accidental team kills, so everyone in the squad should go to Ragman and buy matching armbands. Of course, you still have to be careful and always keep tabs on your team's location. Once you start getting better and killing people, don't be afraid to use your good gear. Gear fear isn't going to help you at all. Either use it or sell it, but don't let a gun or armor sit in your inventory all wipe long because you're scared to lose it. And so what if you lose it? It's just pixels on a screen. Do a scav run and get back in there. The only way to truly learn this game is by playing, so if this video helped you, leave a like on it, and subscribe for more newbie Tarkov content, and go use that scar Nikita gave you for Christmas, I know you still have it.